Okay, I'm going to try to stay on point, not really ramble, but then again, isn't this rambling right now? So, okay. In the past, particularly in my Arma profile, I had... I was struggling to have analog on the trigger and then a full pull. Yeah, actually, I hadn't noticed that before. It's subtle, but it does start to... It does also enact the rudder. That That's the game. I can't tell it not to do that because I needed the output to be the trigger. So, and then at that time, I was kind of blaming the game. Like, I just can't get it to work. I can't make it do that. Well, I can. I just, I wasn't really aware. I wasn't at, at the level of expertise. <laughs> I didn't have all the tricks up my sleeve as I do now. So, the issue is, like, for, you know, when I'm in here, I want to be able to full pull the right trigger to be mouse and engage with these. Now, trigger is also analog throttle. You know, so if you just go, you know, like, I need the analog on. If one, like, the first approach to this would be, well, why don't I just put right trigger on soft pull and then left mouse on full pull putting it on the soft pull you will lose the analog that just makes it a digital button so you don't want to do that um you can see on the on the uh little slide bar there that's that's a full pull so i've now the problem is that obviously it keeps throttling forward now that'll work like i can get in here you know and it'll do that uh, like, inch me forward, but I can do it. But, really... Shh. So, really, all you need to do is just make it a mode shift. So, let me first set this back to right trigger, full pull. When I pull the right trigger fully, take the analog off, keep the full pull as left mouse. So now, as you can see, with that little circle above the slider, I'm fully pulling as soon as I let it go. I'm back to the analog trigger. <laughs> hey! So yeah, it was, um... Just a simple thing that I can't believe I didn't really think of that. When, like, years ago when I did that Arma video? That was pretty frustrating. So yeah, it's just a real quick little tip that you can... You can kill the analog pretty simply with just a mode shift. Now that that could also work with an action layer or whatever. I mean, this is obviously going to be the easiest way to do it. Just, you know, hey, whenever I pull that trigger all the way, take off that analog. I was I was pretty giddy when I figured that out. <laughs> so I just wanted to share it.